Earlier this week, on Tuesday the 18th of March, 2014, Google announced its new Android subsidiary operating system, Android Wear. Android Wear is a smaller, less power-consuming version of Android. Built from the ground up, it's built to work on wearable devices such as smartwatches. On the very same day that Google released Android Wear, Motorola released a promo video for its new smartwatch, the Moto 360. Funny enough, the device has been announced to be the first flagship device to run on Android Wear. Despite the fact that earlier this year, Chinese product manufacturer Lenovo acquired Motorola Incorporated from Google for a solid $2.9 billion, the web page for Moto 360 is still covered head to toe in branding of being a Google company. Now, you should know on this same release, LG has also had plans to make a regular square face smartwatch that will also run Android Wear. However, let's focus on Motorola. There have been no official specification releases for this or any other Android Wear device. Having said that, let's take a trip to six years ago, in 2008. Motorola at the time had heavily declining mobile phone sales due to the release of the original iPhone one year before. In this time, attempting to make the same bold changes to the mobile industry as Apple had been making, they released a bit of a questionable phone. The Motorola Aura was a 2008 phone that came with a whole lot of firsts for the mobile industry. It was the first mobile phone to have a sapphire glass display, the first mobile phone with a 360 degree swiveling titanium build, and most importantly, the first circular display to come on a mobile device. The Motorola Aura held on board a circular display that bore a stunning 309 pixel density, that number being 17 pixels less than the current iPhone 5S Retina display. The reason that Aura makes a difference now is because Motorola is bringing back the circular display to the Moto 360. Now, six years ago, the Motorola Aura was let down by its software, and due to its £1,400 or $2,300 price tag, the phone inevitably flopped. Here in 2014, this hardware is more relevant than ever, because the world is soon to have Android Wear, a platform built to support both rectangular and circular displays, and because of the Moto 360. Now, just because there have been no official spec announcements, we can look into the past to get a good idea of what is to come this summer in the Moto 360. Although the predictions of having a sapphire glass display on the Moto 360 at this point could be a little far-fetched, Motorola still holds the patents for this high-res circular display, and we can safely predict that they will be bringing it back for the Moto 360. Not to mention, the Motorola Aura ran on a battery with a capacity of 810 mAh, and had an all-day battery life. Now that is less than half the capacity of a low-spec Android phone. This can give us a solid idea that if a phone with that screen and a set of functions lasted all day six years ago, Motorola should be more than ready to offer a wearable device with that same beautiful display and a more satisfying battery life. In conclusion, this summer we can expect a smartwatch from Motorola to be the first with a beautifully colorful display and a smart set of Android Wear functions alongside having a multiple day battery life. This seriously looks to be like a great product, and if it's going to be anything like Motorola's last two products, the Moto X and the Moto G phones, it will have a unique set of desirable functions at an even more desirable price point. That's all for today, I'll keep you posted, and I'll catch you on the flip side.